Hi, I'm Justin. I'm the Director of Regional Accounts and today we're here to talk about power only trucking. What is power only trucking? Power only trucking is a method of transportation where the carrier provides the truck and the driver but not the trailer. Usually the customer owns or leases trailers already and they use that in order to transport their goods. Who uses power only trucking? Companies that ship either open deck or drive van commodities, they own some trailers or they lease trailers, but they don't have any drivers or very few drivers on their fleet. There are also situations where the commodity that's being shipped is uniquely shaped or has special requirements that a standard trailer is not going to meet the demands for, and a customer might retrofit or modify a custom trailer in order to transport those goods. In these situations, you already have the trailers, so you just need a truck and a driver. They come in, hook up their fifth wheel, and they can get on their way. Power-only trucking is not good for perishable or raw goods transportation. By nature, with power-only transportation, you are loading the trailer to your convenience and it might sit in your lot for a period of time before a driver comes in to pick it up. And with perishable and raw material, that time frame might be too long. It's also not a fit for shippers that might not have the space in their yard to facilitate having a drop trailer on site. What are the advantages of power-only trucking? It can create greater efficiencies in other parts of your supply chain because you don't have to wait around for a truck and driver to show up to load so you can focus more on your production and other parts of your bottom line. It saves money in the front end because you're not employing a staff of drivers, maintaining trucks and all the other costs associated with maintaining a fleet. It provides flexibility in your end because you can load at your convenience, place the loaded trailer somewhere on your lot and move on to other needs of your business. What are the disadvantages of power only trucking? Obviously, if you own trailers, you have to service and maintain them, so there's added cost to that. Or if you're leasing trailers, naturally there's going to be lease payments that need to be made. As with other forms of transportation, there could be additional costs with short notice, but you might feel it a little bit more with power only, just because there could be fewer providers in your area that offer that service. Power only does add a complication to the normal supply chain. If you own that trailer, you're leasing that trailer, you need to get it back to where it came from. So. It really works best if you have return loads for it or it's a short enough distance where a driver could just deadhead back and forth. At the end of the day, power only is a great fit for some people and not the best for others. If you'd like to learn more about it, please reach out to ATS and we can help you along the way. Now that you have a better understanding of power only trucking and whether or not it'll fit your business, check out our video on trailer interchange agreements, a close companion to power only trucking, for some more information on this topic. Thank you.